I'm Gordon Sprouse from Lowrance, and we're excited to show you our new Lowrance Outboard Pilot featuring smart steer control from your HDS Gen 2 or Gen 2 Touch display. The all new Lowrance Outboard Pilot provides auto steering capabilities on hydraulic steer or cable steer outboard motors on boats 30 feet and less. It's like having an extra pair of hands when you need it. The outboard pilot can steer you to a heading or a waypoint or along a route. And the outboard pilot comes with everything you need to install it yourself, including setup instructions and plug and socket connectors that eliminate a lot of the necessary wiring that might be required otherwise. The outboard pilot consists of an autopilot computer and heading sensor that connect to your HDS Gen 2 display. It also consists of a hydraulic pump or a cable steer drive unit depending on the type of steering system you have on your boat. From your HDS display, you can control the outboard pilot so that you can steer to a waypoint, along a route, select a turn pattern, or just simply hold a constant heading. You can also easily convert save trails to routes so you can retrace a previous track and get your boat back to the dock from a favorite fishing area. The Lowrance Smart Steer Control allows you to easily switch from outboard engine to the MotorGuide XI5 electric steer trolling motor control, all from your HDS Gen 2 display. Today, we have Lowrance expert Chris Meyer with us, and he's going to show us just some of the features of the outboard pilot and smart steer control and how they can simplify your day and increase your fishing success. There's a couple of ways to access the autopilot controller. My favorite way is to press the power key, press autopilot, and now the control module will come up. Once I have this up, I don't have control of any of my screens, I just have control of my autopilot controller. My other way I can access it is actually create a customized page and have it, the autopilot controller be up on the screen as a page. So I can come in to create a page, drag in my autopilot controller, drag in a chart, drag in sonar, and now I have my autopilot controller where I can switch pages. One feature we have with Smart Steer is I have the ability to navigate to a waypoint. So I can go onto my screen, touch waypoint, and hit go to. It'll ask me if I want to engage autopilot, and then I just need to confirm that I want to change course bearing. And now the motor will turn and steer me towards that waypoint. One of my favorite features of the Smart Steer is the ability to lock onto a heading and keep going that same direction. So when I'm setting rods, getting ready to fish by myself, or I've got a group of guys with me that don't know how to steer a boat, um, I can select my auto, and now I'm gonna maintain a straight heading while I'm going down the lake here, and I can get ready, set rods, and do things that uh, I wanna do to get ready to go fishing without having to control my boat. Along the same line as the auto heading, I access that auto heading and now I can actually access turns. When I select my turns, it allows me to do a U-turn, circle, C-turn, zigzag, squares, and other patterns. So if I want to select zigzag, I can tell it to go port or starboard. If I hit starboard, I can tell it how long a leg I want to do. So if I want to set this up to be a 182 foot leg, now the boat will zigzag down the lake. Practical fishing application for guys that are pulling planer boards and you want it to pause and whatnot while we're going down the lake, you can set this and it will do that pattern while you're out in the middle of no man's land, uh, trolling uh, for you know walleye, salmon, fish like that. One feature that exists in uh, all the HDS units is the ability to create a route. So I can go on the screen if I want to create a route and stay, stay along and follow this contour area. I can push my screen there, go to new, go to new route. And now I can touch and I can take and follow all the way along the bottom of this basin 
just by creating that route. I can hit save, give it a name if I want to, I can hit enter, and now that route will come up. I can also take on structure map, so if you find a weed edge or a transition and you want to create a route on structure map, you can follow that exact weed line, you can follow that exact transition from rock to mud or mud to sand, um, or any other uh, kind of ledge type area that you would like to uh, follow. To actually access the route, I just touch the route and I come up here to the route tab. Now I can start the route from the beginning or to the end or I can actually start at a point on the route. I want to start the route from the beginning. Now I can either go forward or reverse. I want to select forward. I'll put my motor in gear here. And then I just hit yes on engage autopilot, yes on chart course, and now you can see on my screen all the legs are lit up. So when it gets to each leg, it'll just kind of work its way down and through the, uh, the route. One feature we have with the HDS is the ability to scroll back in sonar history. So if I find a piece of structure that I like, so I'll use these weeds for example, I can hit go to cursor. It'll ask me if I engage autopilot mode and turn yes. And now it will take me back to that piece of structure so I don't have to spin around. Now I can get my rods ready. I can get set up for that trolling pass. Um, and it'll take me back to that piece of structure. Or you mark a school of fish and you want to go back to that fish, you can scroll back, hit that direction, and the autopilot will turn me around and get me back on top of those fish. Another feature that I, we have with the HDS is I can actually come up here, select my trail, because I just drove through a bunch of fish that I want to troll through, so I stop. We can get ourselves prepared. I can touch on the trail, and I can actually create a route off of that trail. So I can essentially see all the points. I can hit start. And now I can navigate myself all the way back through that trail. I'll engage autopilot mode. My boat will take me back around through all those fish that we just marked and uh, see if we can get the nets out. Probably the neatest feature of the Smart Steer is I actually have the ability to control my outboard autopilot or my trolling motor autopilot with the integration with the uh, XI-5. So I can go into here, switch pilots, and I can choose whether I want to view my trolling motor. And you'll see at the top of the screen, it'll say trolling for my trolling motor. And I can have access to all of the XI-5 controls. Or I can switch pilot, select outboard. You'll notice it changes at the top outboard, and now I have my outboard controls right here. So this is one handy feature for the guys that are electric steer guys and the guys that want the autopilot. You can control both off of the same uh, operating system, which is known as Smart Steer. Thanks, Chris, for all those details on how to use the new Lowrance Outboard Pilot. To learn more, you can visit our website at lowrance.com or visit an authorized dealer near you.